Hello everybody, Van Katsuisha here, and welcome back to another unboxing from the good old people over at Ame Ame. Check this out. This is a pretty big box. Um which is interesting because there's only one figure in here. Yeah, this is a pretty big box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Um obviously you guys already know who who it is it was in the title and thumbnail so let me go ahead and open this up i'm gonna not do a overhead camera this time just because um i don't feel like setting that up right now and i received this box around two days ago I haven't been able to open it up yet. I just want to open it up. All right. Well, first of all, we got the signature Amico. Um, post thingy flyer, whatever it's called. Uh, it just says the regular. Thank you for shopping with us. We hope your order arrived safely yada 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 and uh, the cute design that they always throw on these is adorable this one's giving me sakura card captor vibes um oh no i dropped the other one there you go that's good let me Tear through this thing. Wow. Take a look at... Oh my god, she looks incredible. Look at this. Look at her. Holy shit. The box is very similar to Morrigan's, which makes a lot of sense that it would be very similar to Morgan, not only because they're from the same game, but because they're technically from the same line. I don't know if they're necessarily going to be starting a dark soccer's line over at uh, Kotobukiya Bishojo, but I mean they've got Lilith, they've got Morgan, they've got Felicia. Yeah, here they are. It says right here, now available Felicia and Morgan. Morrigan. Uh, I did not order Felicia. She is a little. She's a little too lewd to have on my shelf and would require a lot of explaining so i opted to not get felicia i can get away with morgan and lilith i can get away with these two all right let's go ahead and open her up let's go ahead and release her Ugh. let's go ahead and release the waifu from her bonds shall we I feel like I say that every video, which kind of just puts into perspective how I don't think I've bought a figure yet of a character that is not a waifu. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think that should do it. Off comes the first cover. No. <clears throat> Off comes the first plastic. Look at her. Just look at her. God damn, she is shiny. She is. <clears throat> the red parts of her are shiny. They are shiny. Look at that. Look at how shiny the boots are. Look at how shiny the... 
whatever that is is <laughs> i don't know what to call it and her her head crown wings are also very shiny wow okay how do i there you go that's uh, one that second one came off way easier than the first one oh my god look at you look at you wow her her fucking wings are so shiny and smooth i love it i love this color of red it's fantastic Oh, and she actually has the wings on her back. Did Morgan have them on her back as well? I don't remember. Hers are definitely a lot lower though. Morgan's are like, the Morgan's hat, her wings are like over here, not this high up. Cool. Look at her. She's fucking, she looks so damn good. What can I say? It's, it's what I expected it to. It's as good as I expected it to be. Like, I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed with, uh, a Korobukiya figure. Because I literally never am. I've never been disappointed by any of their figures. And I wasn't expecting her to be as shiny as she is. And the whole... The paint job on her thighs is fantastic. It gives that... How do they... How do they, how do, they do it? How do they manage to paint... How do they manage to paint it so well that it actually makes it look like it's some kind of fabric? I am, I am always blown away. And I never, I never realized her hair had a shading. Like her hair kind of like it kind of like dissolves into a different shade of pink or it's like it goes from pink to like purple and her face actually is actually pretty well done as well i like it it's great she's gonna look Great, next to Morgan. Oh my god, she's even got nail polish. Her nails are shiny. She's got fucking nail polish. The attention to detail from, from these people, man. I just can't. I just can't stress how great these things always are. Fan freaking tastic. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the Bark Stalkers Lilith from Kotobukiya Bishojo. Um, somewhat unboxing, somewhat review. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not entirely a unboxing figure reviewer. I just like opening up figures on camera. I don't know about, I don't know why, especially if it's waifus. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I really like this figure. You can see the belly button. She's got a belly button. Huh. Um, anyway. <laughs> Got a little bit carried away there. Um, yeah. I, I, 
I really like this figure. It is really cool. And it's going to look great on my shelf right next to Morgan. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you guys would, if you guys would get yourself a Lilith. Cause, uh, I have, I, al I, I already have mine. So there's that. <laughs> uh yes yeah. hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one um the next figure release isn't until like i think january so there's gonna be a while until i end up making another one of these so just to let you guys know um, from the figures that I have pre-ordered, the next one isn't coming out until January, so keep an eye out. <laughs> keep an eye out, because it's gonna it's gonna be a while. So once again, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>